السلام علیکم پیس بی اپون یو مائی ریسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرس وی ول کنٹینیو دس ٹائم ان انگلش اباؤٹ دا باربیرک لاز آف بلاس فیمی ان پاکستان آئی ول ایکسپلین وائی آئی کال دیم باربیرک دا فرسٹ تھنگ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو سی ٹو مائی کنٹری مین آل دوز آف یو who are praising the killer Mulla Mumtaz Malik Mumtaz Hussain Qadri Look at the name, they have long names, long beards and pot bellies The classic appearance of a Mullah That's the assassin who killed the valiant, courageous governor of Punjab, Salman Taseer Shaheed All of them who are supporting the blasphemy law in Pakistan, all of them who are praising this criminal are committing shirk. They are committing shirk. Let me say why. Was there any blasphemy law in Pakistan in the 1970s? No. Who brought in it into being? The Mullah General. Ziaul Haq. So it's a man-made law. The Quran does not prescribe any punishment for any kind of blasphemy. But he brought this law and you, are, you have the misfortune of following it. Unfortunately, more than half of the Pakistanis are supporting this crime. Less than half are those who have some reservations. There is such fear of these uh, criminals, mullahs and khatibs in the country that the whole society is dumbfounded. Even the educated people, the judges, students, professors, doctors, Engineers, think of anyone, PhDs, professors, teachers, they all are frightened. Why? Because they know that there is no rule of law in the country. Life has no worth in my beloved country today. Anyone can shoot anyone. Okay? If you hate someone, bring a charge of blasphemy and he or she would be pushed in the jail without any bail. That poor lady Asiya Bibi, we don't know to this day what she had done. It doesn't matter whether it is a Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jewish, whoever. It doesn't matter really. Uh, who says what about Islam, about the Quran, about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, Pakistan among all Muslim countries has the harshest blasphemy law. One who insults the Quran gets life in prison. One who insults Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he faces death penalty plus fine no bail no if and or but there is no one two or three no choice my word Salman Taseer Shaheed he stood for the right he wanted the rule of law to prevail in Pakistan rather than the commandment of one single person. So, please, do not be mushriks, do not commit shirk. Remember, Allah does not prescribe any punishment for any kind of blasphemy in the Quran. In the next installment of my lecture, I'll give you a very few examples. There are too many, they abound. I'll give you a few examples of how compassionate, forgiving, and magnanimous 
Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was and how he forgave his staunchest of enemies. What I have seen on TV these days, some mullahs are saying, "Well, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a prophet. He was compassionate. He was rauf rahim. He was kind. So he could forgive the ones who assaulted him in any way. But who are we to?" forgive such a person my god where is their beloved sunna gone does the example of the prophet not apply in this case how he handled such cases cases how magnanimously he forgave such people men or women we should we must emulate his example another thing which we should remember that 90% of pakistanis are hanafis they belong to fiqh hanafi and as uh, my respected scholar of islam the voice of reason in pakistan unfortunately he has been forced to leave the country as he has said that the hanafi fiqh has no punishment for blasphemy so the matter is simple implement the hanafi fiqh and solve this problem if you have the good fortune of moving to the quran let us recite here the most often quoted verse of the quran surah 2 verse 256 la ikraha fid din subhanallah la ikraha fid din there is no compulsion or coercion in deen in islam so when there is no compulsion the matter is 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 finished right here forget the whole situation and i'll move ahead and tell you why muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is beyond reproach beyond insult thank you for listening and i'll be back soon may allah bless you Thank you.